What's going on guys, Eric Allen, owner of Top Rated MMA. For this show, I got to talk to Kayla K-Rock Raka, who is fighting in October for an Invicta contract at World Class Fight League. And she has an amazing story of how she got into MMA. This is a great show, check it out. I'm doing good. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to jump on a call with me real quick. I appreciate it. Absolutely. My pleasure. You just fought for the semifinals at uh, the World Class Fight League. It's for an Invicta contract, right? Yep, that's right. That's awesome. Congratulations on the, the TKO win. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, and you'll be fighting, is it Kara Greenwell in the finals? This is a rematch, right? Yes, it is a rematch. Yep. First one went split decision. How are you feeling going into this one? I'm really excited about this fight. Um, so I actually lost the first round of the tournament, but the fight was so close and actually really controversial, the decision, that um, they sort of invited me back into the tournament because they were down a girl. I got you. And they felt like I deserved the spot. Um, and I was really hesitant to take it at first just because, you know, it didn't really seem fair. Like, oh, I lost and now I'm going to come back in the tournament. But I decided to go for it, and you know, I I knew that I would probably face Kara in the finals, and so I kind of expected this to happen, and I, and I wanted this. Yeah. Um. So, you know, even though the first fight was really close, I think I won the fight. So I just planned to go out there in the rematch, and you know, really show why I belong, and and you know why I deserve that contract. Well, the last fight looked great, and and uh, hopefully. Mm -hmm. We'll see you come out and do some more finishing like that in this next fight. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you say uh, it seems like looking at your record, you say very busy uh, this final mm -hmm. of October. Are you looking to take a little bit of a break, or are you going to try to pick up some more fights before then? I actually was just talking to my coach about that. Um, this is definitely the longest break that I'll have. Gotcha. And you know that can be good and bad. We definitely want to take the time to, uh, you know, really just work on developing some new skills. When you fight back to back, it's kind of tough to do that because you find yourself sort of training for a specific opponent. Yeah. Um, so I think we might do a little bit of both. You know, we might take some rest and and take some time to hone those skills, but also might look to take maybe one MMA fight between that time, sure. or maybe some boxing fights, grappling tournaments, something like that, just to stay busy. Yeah. Well, we'll and it, it, it's got to help that your coaches are like Jillian Robertson and, and uh, Jose Torres and Thomas. Mm -hmm. Does that give you a lot of confidence going into your fights then? Oh, absolutely. I put in hours and hours of work with Jillian and uh, Shorty. And, you know, even though it's it's hard work and I don't always feel the best afterwards, sure. it gives me so much confidence going into a fight just knowing that my opponent is not on that level uh, I know that for sure, and it, and and it makes me feel, you know, very prepared to just go out there and and like attack whatever she throws at me. You yeah. know, that's awesome. Uh, and then uh, I gotta ask, how did you get the nickname? Is is it? It's K Rock, right? Is the nickname? I think it's K Rock. Okay. Um, it, it just kind of honestly, like people used to call me K Rock before I even started fighting. Okay. Uh, it's it's actually simply kind of my name. Sure. You know, my name is Kayla Rocco. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't know that my last name is pronounced Rocco, so I think <laughs> the nickname might confuse them a little bit. Sure. But yeah, K Rock is just really my name shortened. That's awesome. Kayla Rocco. Yeah. I always like to ask this. You're much braver than I, so I, I love uh, that you get in the cage there, and I like being on this side. But what yeah. in MMA in, in the first place? Were you like wrestling at a young age, or what made you decide that you wanted to step in that cage? So I actually started with boxing. Okay. Um, I started boxing about four years ago now. And uh, I actually, <laughs> I graduated college and I took the first job out of college that I could get. And I ended up getting fired two months later. Oh no. After, after just making a silly mistake. And, you know, at that point, I kind of felt like my life was over. <laughs> right. I moved. I moved back home with my parents. Um, I was broke. I was lost, kind of confused. And I remember I went to like six different gyms in one week, just taking advantage of free day passes. Yeah. And the last gym I went to was a boxing gym. 
And, you know, it just sort of changed my life. And, you know, I was never really interested in MMA until recently. Um, I actually made a decision to move to New York to continue my boxing training. And four days before I moved, I went to visit a boxing trainer and, you know, we hit some pads and stuff. He took a video and posted it online and the right person happened to lay eyes on this video. So Dean Thomas commented on the video yeah, and, you know, complimented my skills. And from there, I just, you know, I reached out to him and really kind of sold myself and, and begged for an opportunity to come visit the gym. I knew, um, I knew that if I went and trained at ATT, I would reach my highest potential in combat. Yeah. You know, even though I wasn't necessarily interested in MMA at the time, I just wanted to be the best fighter I could be. Sure. And whatever I had to do to get there, I was willing to do. So I came down to ATT and the rest is history. That is an awesome story. That, that's yeah, so it's cool. crazy. <laughs> it's it's mind-blowing, honestly. Yeah, I still can't is, believe it. That is awesome. Well, hey, do you care if we do some rapid-fire questions real quick? On yeah, you? let's do it. All right, Holly Holm or uh, Megan Anderson? I'm going to say Holly Holm. I'm pulling for Holly on this one. Yeah, I think Holm will take the win as well. Uh, do you have a favorite band or type of music that you listen to? Honestly, I listen to all types of music. It depends which mood I'm in. You know, yeah. I've got like 20 different personalities, so <laughs> <laughs> whatever music works well with that personality is what I'm listening to. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, and then uh, do you have uh, Claudia or Carla Sparza win? Ooh, I'm excited for that fight. I'm going to say Claudia. Yeah. I think Claudia is going to take that win. Yep, absolutely. Last question there. Or actually, I have two other questions for you. Uh, the Bare Knuckle Fighting Championships debuted last weekend. Thoughts? Do you like it? Dislike that? Um, I actually know the owner and promoter okay. of it, which is really cool. He's from my hometown. Oh, nice. Um, I, you know, it's kind of hard to say. I mean, it's entertaining. Yeah. I love boxing. It, it's like the purest form of boxing possible yeah uh, do i really like to watch it not really sure. um would i do it probably <laughs> for the right. for the for the right amount of money like yeah. i think i would get in there and bang it out um yeah. but you know I, I, my my focus is on mma right now so that's awesome and then do you have a favorite mma fighter that you love uh, that you love to watch or I mean, Dean Thomas, maybe, but, or Julian Robertson, I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I do. My favorite MMA fighter is Kyoji Hiraguchi. Okay. Yeah. He, um, he is just one of the most incredible athletes I, I've ever witnessed. You know, watching him train in the gym is something truly special. And just watching him perform, it, it's, it's incredible. So I would have to say him. That's awesome. I also want to give you a moment to give a shout out to sponsors or teammates or uh, coaches or anything like that as well. So we make sure that they get a shout out on the show. Yeah, for sure. Um, just to run it back, I want to thank my coach, Dean Thomas, Jillian Robertson and Shorty for being there for me for my camps. Um, also, Jessica Aguilar, she was supposed to fight this past weekend, didn't work out. Yeah. Um, she got that fight rescheduled. So, so I'm definitely excited for her to get in there and perform. Um, I want to thank my manager, Julian Gregorio from Upgrade MG, uh, my mental coach, Toby Larson, and sponsors Elite Ops Energy, Dethrone, uh, York Athletics, um, Society Nine, Two True Studios, Iron Jaw Mouthguards, and Prototype Combat Team. That's it. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, that's a huge list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is for sure. Kayla, it's been Thanks such a pleasure, problem. an honor to have you on my show. I am excited to see you fight in October, get that Invicta contract, and then get in the big cage there at Invicta. That's right. Uh, but again, thank you so much for your time. I really, really appreciate it. Have an awesome day. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Talk to you soon. Uh-huh. Bye bye. <laughs> thank you so much for checking out the show today. I really appreciate it. Please like our videos, share our videos, subscribe to our channels, all the support. It helps us be able to support other people in Higher Heroes USA and also the Fighter Sponsorship Program from Fightbook MMA. Thank you again. Have an awesome day.